Here we are logged into our license plate camera. This is the 3 megapixel that can do 60 FPS. Once you log in to the camera's web viewer, you can use this little button to pull up the uh, zoom control for the motorized zoom lens. This camera has a motorized zoom lens that I uh, can see about this car that's 50 feet away up close. Now we've already preset some settings in the camera for its uh, video conditions and here we have specified a uh, image uh, that is uh, you know with a profile of night exposure set to outdoor manual 1 over 2000 uh, shutter rate now depending on how uh, bright or dim your image is you can change it uh, by changing the iris and also the shutter rate so in this case i am uh, modifying this uh, just to brighten up the image because of how dark it is where this camera is located now you can see that i have a really bright image and i can hit save now this profile is saved under the night and also what I have in here is um, a backlight set to for HLC and under uh, IR light I have it set to smart IR. That's the only change. Now if I were to switch to daylight or normal so now I have the IR set to smart IR and under daylight and outdoor exposure is auto um, everything else is just set to normal exposure. So under profile management, if I were to go in and change it to day and hit save, let's see what the picture looks like. So with this camera, even in a daytime mode, uh, I'm able to see the license plate. Now when I zoom out, of course I can't. That's why the um, uh, whole point of having these uh, night and day settings is very important. So let me switch it now to my night setting and here you'll be able to see that with sufficient uh, optical zoom and digital zoom combined you will be able to see your license plate better so right now I'm beyond the resolution possible for a 3 megapixel camera but if I use my um, my digital zoom window I am able to see it better I'm going to now introduce some optical zoom. And now I, I feel this is the best sweet spot for my uh, video. Now this car is 50 feet away. Now as the car passes I'll be able to see it. So I'm going to ask the driver to do a run. So here you can see the car, it's pulled up, and I'm going to use my digital zoom window to actually zoom into the plate. So this is recorded video where you can still see the plate number. Now this is about 50 feet away. If you need more zoom, you use the optical zoom and set the camera there. And it will increase your camera's ability to make out the license plate numbers. So in this case I can see it's uh, you know, ending in 2660. And depending on what's the sweet spot for your camera, you want to set it at that and then leave it. So in this case, now I've zoomed in from, let's say, about this much to this much. And it gives me a lot more zoom capability in the recorded video to be able to make out the license plate number.